Hey there, this is Phil with PhilFX and I wanted to create a quick tutorial for my students in uh, Art 185 who are beginning students working with Maya and uh, the purpose of this tutorial is to just cover some of the common beginning errors I see uh, students who are work starting and users who are starting to work with Maya and uh, hopefully this will uh, show some of the common errors and but also show ways that you can fix things and things to look out for and there are some actually some very nice tools that are built into Maya to help you uh, correct find and fix these kind of errors and uh, make things better so let's go ahead and get started so I'm going to create a quick box here and I'm going to give it some subdivisions in width and height and depth and then let's go ahead and scale this make it a little bit bigger and let me spin this around so we're looking at it and <clears throat> so one of the first things that I see students do is they start working with something and they're modeling and they immediately gravitate to wanting to put in uh, too many edge loops and it's a very common thing to do because you look at it and the first time you try smoothing for the first time so you hit the three button and uh, not the three and the four, the three button, and things smooth out, and you look at that and you say, well, you know, I want to pull this edge a little bit tighter, so I'm going to put some edge loops in there. So you hit the one, go back to unsmooth, and you look at it and you say, well, let me go in here and let me uh, uh, insert some edge loops. <clears throat> so you go over to Mesh Tools, and we go on here to insert an edge loop, and we pop in a loop. And then we get carried away and we stick in another one and then we put one down here and then we put one over here and one like this and one over here and pretty soon you have way too many edge loops and they're not in the right place and so you say okay uh, now I have to get rid of those edge loops so they'll go in and you can double click on an edge loop to select it and the first thing they want to do just out of and it, and it makes sense they want to go in there and delete that edge loop so you hit the delete key and experienced Maya users know right off the bat that's a no-no because what has happened is uh, notice my cursor when I'm going across that line you see I'm selecting two separate edges I'm selecting two separate edges because when you just hit the delete key you actually leave the vertices so let me go into vertex mode and here you can see these vertexes that were left when I just deleted that edge and having these dangling vertices is a, a big problem. It'll, it'll just cause you all kinds of issues down the road that uh, you don't uh, want to have. So the correct way to do this is if you caught yourself ahead of time, hit the undo key, which is Command or Control Z, uh, and put the line back in there, double click and select on it, on that edge loop. Let's go back to edges. So we select that edge and now if you're on a Mac you hold down command key and hit delete or if you're on a Windows machine you hold on control and hit delete and now notice when I select this line the vertices if I go into vert vertex mode those vertices have been deleted alright so by holding down command or control and then hitting the delete key you eliminate all of those vertices uh, let's go back and say uh, what if I didn't do that what if I went in and I selected back to edge mode select all these hit delete and I've got all these doggone dangling vert vertexes how can I fix that well if it was me the quickest way to do that probably is to go in here and select all of those vertices and so what I want to do is hit my space bar go into one of my modes my face modes here and uh, this is the one I want to see so these vertexes here and I want to see everything in here so I want to go into uh, uh, wireframe mode so I hit the 4 key and I can see these vertexes and I want to select and I want to make sure camera based selection isn't on now you say okay what's camera based selection well if I double click the, double -click the select tool and I have uh, right here it Maya defaults to having camera based selection off all right let me click this on real quick and just drag across these vertexes and select them okay and let me close the tool 
hit the space bar and let's go back into perspective mode and notice these back vertices have not been selected they're not selected because in this mode in camera based selected selection only the vertices that were in the front facing the camera were selected let's go back in and let me double click and turn camera based selection off which is the default let me click outside here where nothing is selected and now let me drag a marquee around there hit space bar come back up and now we see all of those vertexes have been selected now that all the vertexes have been selected I can just hit the delete key and they're gone and so then if I go into edge mode uh, we have everything corrected and uh, that fixes that problem so that's the first thing in terms of working with edges and uh, deleting edges more importantly and the things you need to be aware of uh, that you make sure you delete your edges uh, in the correct manner uh, the next issue that I see students running into uh, has to do with the other most common tool that as a modeler you tend to use and that's the extrude command and the extrude command I use it so much it's uh, this icon right here so if I go into face mode and we select this face and I say okay I want to do an extrude on here so I'll click this and uh, I have the uh, extrude gizmo on here and uh, actually uh, let me do this because there's something I want to show you that shows better on a sphere so let's get out of this go into object mode just delete select this whole thing and delete it let's get a sphere in here and let me scale that up and now I go into face mode and I select a face here and I want to extrude that face okay so if you want to extrude the face we'll select the face I hit the extrude command and we get the extrude tool uh, a couple of things off the bat so the extrude tool comes up and it wants to default in component mode notice that the uh, normal to that face is uh, where the uh, axis has been set for extruding and pulling and it's going to pull straight in uh, component coordinates if I want to pull in world coordinates I click this little blue dot up here and notice now that I'm in world coordinates and I can pull this straight out alright let's click this back and we go into face mode <clears throat> and if I was to extrude this I would grab either the arrow to pull it out I'd click on the box if I was trying to uh, scale that face uh, or one of these uh, boxes here like if I wanted to take and do an extrusion by actually creating a face on top of the face so I've hit the extrude command I've actually not done an extrusion yet and I decide I don't know I got interrupted and I got a phone call and so I click this and I go off and I actually didn't do an extrude except the problem is you actually did do an extrude all right and I'm gonna show you the tool that's gonna to show you what you did so when you go in Maya and you hit the right mouse button there's edge mode and there's vertex and there's face mode and there's multi mode and there's object mode and there's this thing over here called vertex face and the first time I saw this I thought what in the world is this so if we click on vertex face what this shows you is what the geometry looks like that Maya has created and note this face right here that I quote didn't do an extrusion on can you see what's different with that face alright that face has these additional edges and addition it has these additional edges and it has additional vertices alright we created by just clicking on the extrusion tool and clicking on this face I actually did an extrusion except I didn't pull it or scale it or move it and what I've done is actually created illegal geometry and I can see that illegal geometry using the vertex face if I go back in and go into face mode you can't see by looking at this that there's anything wrong right but there actually is something wrong <coughs> and you might say well how do I fix this then because trust me that will create problems down the road for you so uh, some people think well I can just take this face and select it and delete it and then all I need to do is just go in and then bridge it again so I'll go in and I'll use my edge tool I'll select this edge and I'll go over here and select this edge I go over to mesh tools or edit mesh excuse me and I hit the bridge command because I'm gonna bridge a uh, 
uh, face onto there and I click that and boom I get an error. And I'm getting an error because those extra edges. Maya sees two edges on top of each other and it doesn't know how to bridge that. So I can't make a face there. I can't fix this. So, so what do I do? Alright, so there is a way to fix this. The way you fix this is I go in here and I can uh, go up to uh, the mesh uh, command and down here to clean up. And let me hit the option box and we can see the boxes, okay? And uh, let me reset this. So this is the settings that it normally comes up with, okay? And there's some, normally you can do some fixes with the cleanup and it'll fix some things by tessellation. We don't want to do that. We want to remove geometry, which is down here on the bottom. And the best way to fix these phantom edges is to go over here and use this tool right here where it says faces with zero geometry area. That's, this is what you created. You created a face with no area in the geometry. So you click on this and we hit apply. Now let me click over here and go to vertex face and you can see those phantom edges are cleaned up. They're gone. They have disappeared. All right. And so now I can go back in and go into face mode and I can go into edge and I can select this edge, hit shift and I can hit this edge and then go over here to edit mesh and I can say bridge that and it bridged it. And if we go now into vertex face, everything is clean. Everything's been prepared. We don't have those phantom edges in space that we had by doing that. Essentially, it's a phantom extrude and we have fixed that. Okay, so uh, let's go back into face mode. Uh, those are the uh, two of the most common things that I see students do. Uh, one last thing I wanted to show you while I have this here. Very common uh, when I'm usually modeling I'm in, in uh, uh, I, I model a lot and most people do by pushing vertexes actually and so let me go in here and we'll go into face mode let's double click make sure my selection is not in camera and that's what I want and I come down here and I'm going to select a bunch of faces and then just delete them all right and now I want to go into vertex mode and I'm going to just randomly select some vertices here and let me just grab some vertexes, hit my W key and pull those up and now I'm going to select some other random vertices and how I'm multi-selecting like this is I'm holding down my shift key as I'm just going around and uh, grabbing some vertices and I'm going to pull those like this so we have this crazy strange shape and if I look at this in uh, here in this mode we can see what I've managed to do is really mess up the height of all of these vertices. Well, actually, I was trying to do that on purpose, okay? And so very often you'll end up with a situation where you have an, an edge and you have vertices that are uh, all over the place, all right? And they're not lined up. There's a quick trick you can do to select these and line, things, line everything up. So I'm in vertex mode. And I drag a, drag a marquee around all of these. And all I need to do now is I hit R for scale. And pull this down. And lo and behold, boom. I pulled all of those vertices in the Y direction and scaled them. And notice, okay, I didn't move anything in the X or Z uh, plane. All right, all I did was pull everything so they're equal in Y. Now I can go back in to here, hit my W key, and I can pull these down. All right, maybe I want these straight up. I don't know what I want to do. Maybe I want to scale this. So maybe I have these all equal now, and I want to scale this. So I go into here, and I go into maybe my top view, and I can scale these out. So then we take and go over here, and look what I have in this perspective view, and we can see this wonderful spittoon that I'm making here okay so anyway this is a very quick clever trick uh, I discovered this a while back from other people and uh, it really saves a lot of time and allows you to uh, align an edge so hopefully this is uh, going to be helpful to the students and other people out there and so I've been Phil with uh, Phil FX. have yourself a great day